we are ready to go here at the Hart Center. Colin Casey alongside Mike Basile to take you through what could be the big moment for Holy Cross to lead their way back to the championship and a look at redemption, try and get to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 18 years. Oliphant brings it back to his defensive partner in Petrullo. And that shot ends up in the back of the net and AIC has taken a one nothing lead. If you blink, you might have just missed it, but it's Somerville. Nico Somerville, the senior with his fourth of the season. How do you beat a good goaltender? You get traffic in front of him, right? And Somerville makes the smart play, just throws it towards the goal. Take a look here. He's got it at the blue line, and I believe that hit the stick of Oliphant. It looked like it changed direction right in front of Grandy. Their first kill and then killed the next three, so. And it was Rylance who scored, and he scores again! An unbelievable goal from Brett Rylance. It is 2-0 AIC. Oh my gosh, what a move at the blue line as the Crusaders were chatting with the official, but that hit the back of the net and almost came back out. What a move that was. Take a look here, holy smokes. What a finish there. I wonder if they're gonna take a look to make sure this crossed the line, but it looked like from up here that hit the back of the net and popped out. Yep, I think it did. That line of Rylance, McDonald, Dietrich getting some heavy minutes. Cicero in all alone, he couldn't finish it off. Stays in the zone, Crusaders wanted a trip. Gagno, Cicero again, the wraparound, that doesn't get through. Wallstrom trying to get on top of it, it's a melee in front, and here we go. Gagno pushing and shoving, and somewhere under that pile is Niels Wallstrom. Somehow he managed to keep it out with 50 seconds left in the period as Dietrich exchanging words with the freshman from British Columbia. I don't know how he was able to find that puck, Wallstrom, as there was about six players on top of him. Three dark jerseys, three white jerseys. Where is the puck? And he finds it and covers it up. He takes a bump, appears to be okay. Take a second look here. Here's the stuff attempt from Cicero. And how does Wallstrom find this puck? I don't know if he ever did. Did he ever cover it? Was it under, I believe that's Callahan there? Who knows where that puck was? Higgins, Oliphant guides this one on goal and Wallstrom has the save. This is the Crusaders offense we're used to seeing. What a couple looks there. We take a look, look at Oliphant. I mean, the skating so impressive. Here's the shot from well out, traffic. Traffic in front, tipped off the crossbar. DeBoer right back on. Good kick save there by Wallstrom. Might have been going wide regardless. Incredible reaction time from the freshman. Crusaders off the draw, steer back towards goal. And now Seymour makes some contact in front, ends up down, so does Wallstrom. The whistle blew instantly. We'll see what the call is. That's the second time that Jack Seymour has gotten, him, gotten his hands dirty right in the crease. Yeah, take a look here as Wallstrom able to swallow this up and Seymour is just crashing the crease there. Even if that pot is into the back of the net, there's no way that would have counted. Net, but now it's DeBoer the other way. Approaching minute 60, it's given away. Rylance, empty net. And it's fitting that he's the one who puts it away. His second of the game. And the Yellow Jackets can smell game three tomorrow night. Rylance has been a thorn in the Crusaders' side this series. He now has four points in two games here. And turnover there forced. DeBoer gave it away. And it's potted into the empty net. Rylance the recipient of it, and looks like you said it, there will be a game three at the Hart Center tomorrow night. One last face off. Crusaders just weren't able to solve this Yellow Jackets team in game two. We've got some pushing and shoving between Kramer and a Crusader. Last thing you wanna do is pick up any suspension ahead of a pivotal game three. And we have a game three, thanks to the American International College Yellow Jackets pushing back in game two. 
a shutout performance from Niels Wallstrom. 3-0 the final. And we're moving on to game three Sunday evening right here at the Hart Center. Wow, what a showing from AIC with their season on the line. They grab a win in game two.